Kyle Priest, Chief Strategy and Marketing Officer at T-Tech. Give us a brief overview of what T-Tech does. You bet. We provide strategy, technology consulting, and then the people that actually act as brand ambassadors for companies all over the world for service experiences. And you're working with some of the biggest banks. You're working with Cisco. Talk about your relationship with some of these clients. Yeah, so Cisco is actually a partner of ours where we are the world's largest hosted contact center provider using their technology in a cloud. And it's an amazing uh, growth point for our company over the last three years. It's boomed at about 100% growth year over year. Uh, with our larger clients, we are taking parts of their business, maybe a line of business, maybe a seasonal moment, and we're operating that for them and with them. In other cases, we're side by side with their teams, providing the SMS, the chat, the email support as well as the phone support, and now more and more artificial intelligence. Uh, well, yeah, let's talk about artificial intelligence because I know your business has been increasingly relying on that. What does it mean for your day-to-day -day, and where do you see AI going in five years? You bet. Well, we're very excited about it, but we're also pragmatists. So we're taking the practical approach in our space, which is to focus on the knowledge management underneath. When you have true knowledge management of your customers across the enterprise, you can then have machine learning act on top of that and extract good ideas for better service, for automated interactions, and so you have a wider value prop. We see a lot of AI pilots out there that really, the, the company's not preparing themselves, the knowledge management's not put in place, and so these pilots are sort of stuttering, and we'll be through that period here for a while, particularly since it's the Wild West with so many providers. We've chosen to work with only the biggest, and in doing that, what we're bringing to market is very specific voice bots and chat bots, but we're doing them within the context of true omni-channel interaction so that you could start on the phone, you could end up on the web. You could start with a bot and be immediately transferred to a person when we see that that bot isn't maybe performing for you mm. because we're watching the bot as well. Will artificial intelligence kill jobs? We know Tesla CEO Elon Musk a couple of months ago was very vocal about that possibility. Where do you stand on this debate? Yeah, so I think will it kill jobs? It'll change jobs. And that's what we're seeing. So we're seeing about a 5% year over year decline in the amount of customer service work done via phone. So if someone wants help, someone wants to buy something. By phone, it's coming down about 5%. We think that'll go for another four years maybe, and it'll plateau. And what will happen is we'll have less people answering simple questions, and we'll have them uh, answering what we call tier two or tier three, which are the more complex and harder interactions. So you'll see a different workforce. Already today, we have doctors, we have nurses, we have lawyers, we have insurance uh, agents. We have all of these high profile individuals actually working in service experiences for companies, and we'll see more of that. Certainly, we'll see AI take on several of the uh, point solution type opportunities the next two or three years, and then after that we think it'll be just a, a natural part of every service experience. Any brief thoughts on the technology within AI? We know there are some pretty advanced chips within the technology, right? You look at stocks like NVIDIA, they're on fire. Talk about that kind of dynamic. I think what we're watching is what will the biggest players in AI do? We think there'll be consolidation of those things. We're very excited about those, but what we don't want to do is get too wed to any one uh, emerging technology partner, although we're very excited about that company and others. Any specific consolidations that you're expecting? No, nope, I can't, I can't <laughs> go there, but I, I can only imagine and look forward to it because when you take the investment and the power of the biggest players in AI and then you grab those technologies, they can be implemented and integrated into their core offerings very fast. All right, Kyle Priest, we'll leave it there. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you.